so today we have a world <coughs> exclusive, a world first. It's the first one byte drivetrain going to be used in the Pro Peloton. So here we go, that's the Aqua Blues little promo video. All right, so there we have it, absolute beaut promo vid. So here we are on the old cycling cycling news. <clears throat> and the news is that it will be won by SRAM Force, so no ETAP, but, you know, I guess they'll be running SRAM wheels, but they don't really look like, I mean, sorry, zip wheels, but they don't really look like zip wheels, so I'm not 100% sure on that. They don't really seem to have any detail. They've got some nice pictures here. They're all disc brakes, obviously. Um... I, I think it's quite cool to be fair, like, nice looking bike. I'm worried about the gear ratios, very worried about the gear ratios in fact, because I feel like they can't really, like the way they think they're gonna do it is with this 932 cassette. So here it is, the 932 cassette, um, with a 44 I think on the front. Anyway, so let's have a look. Check the old calculator on. So if we go on 42, so a 42.32 would mean that they go six, 16 k's an hour at 100 cadence. So that's roughly equivalent to a 36.28. So that's quite low. And then top speed is just not high enough. So I, they couldn't use a 42. That would be impossible. Um, so one doesn't seem to use the 9 to, I don't know why. Oh yeah, it does, sorry, it does here. 42.9 would be 60 k's an hour. That's, that's not too bad. Like. Still probably wouldn't use it because um, it's just not really fast enough. But let's go on 44 now. So 44.9 would be 62 k's an hour. That's more like it. That's like, it's not bad. Uh, but it's not great at the same time because I feel like 53.11 is more like 80 k's an hour. Um, oh, I think it's like 65, 66 k's an hour. So it's not disastrous. And then a 44.32, this probably is low enough to be fair. But the thing is that just the jumps I'm worried about, because apparently they're going to have a 9, 10, 11, which will be fine. But then it's like, there's some big jumps, like a 25 to 28, and then a 28 to 32 is, I don't know, I'm not sure if they'll be able to get on with it. Um, it'll be really interesting to see. I hope, hope, I'm not sure if it's the future. To be fair, I've never actually ridden, I think I might have ridden a one by drivetrain once, like when I was mountain biking somewhere. But I haven't really, well like on my road bike I don't have it, on my mountain bike I don't have it either. I, so, I can definitely see, like, the simplicity. Everyone mentions all the simplicity. The aero gains, yeah, probably a decent amount. But I think the problem is, like, there could be an increase in aero gains. But, like, if you can't actually get choose the right cadence, it's actually really annoying. Like, even with an 11.32, you still can't always find, like, the exact right t cadence when you're sort of going on the flat. Because often on the flat, like, on the climb, it's not as bad because you can sort of change out the saddle in the saddle. It's easier to find the cadence. But on the flat, like, the difference between, like, I don't know, something 90 and even like 95, it's like, it's quite, it's quite nuanced on the flat. And the difference between the cadence, like, especially for a professional rider who's sort of like hanging on, it'd be annoying if you sort of had to have a massive jump in between. I mean, to be fair, it might not be a problem. I'm just, I'm just going to be interested. I think this, yeah, the thing that will be really interesting is the steep days, like when it's, when you need a gear, sort of lower than a, maybe a 36, 28, but then you also want to have, I guess maybe you could do it on the 930, a 32, but I feel like you might even need a wider cassette than that, which would just then get quite ridiculous. 
it would just I guess the thing is the mechanics would really have to be on board and figure out exactly what cadence they all need um, it couldn't be any messing around because if they get it wrong then that would just be the end because they, they just either wouldn't have a fast enough gear or they just get dropped really easily uh, it will be super interesting to find out like what gears Aqua Blue are running and to see if one bike can work in the Pro Peloton because I feel like for a crit, yeah, it's fine because you probably have like a 53 on the front and then just have like an 1128. That'll be fine. Like you, wouldn't, you wouldn't need anything else because you could even go for like a 54 because it was just like flat. So um, flat race, I mean, 5428, you're probably not even going to use anyway. Like even a 5420, you might not use. So I feel like then it will be fine. But maybe it will just mean that Aqua Blue have to change gears a lot more and they'll, they'll just be having to like have way more cassettes and way more chain rings. Uh, because most pro teams obviously they don't really change unless it gets super steep, and even then, sometimes only the leaders get it. So, yeah, I guess Aqua Blue will just have to be on board with the cadence. Super excited, can't wait to, for 2018 already. See ya.